Hey there, we're heading down to Downtown Disney. Got to make some videos and kind of follow my way through there. So come along with me. Let's head to the park or what we can of it. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. We're out here. There's a few stores open, like Pandora. The surf store here is open. I'm heading towards uh, the World of Disney so I can get a glimpse at what's down there and hit through the Disney store. They are using what they're calling a virtual queue at World of Disney. So you'll be able to give them your phone number so that uh, they can text you when you are able to get into the store. This is where I think the biggest line is going to be. So we'll be camping out there for a while. All right. We'll, we'll catch you in a minute. All right. All right. So we're in the World of Disney store. We've got lots of stuff hanging out here. We've got the uniform bags. Um, they are limiting, of course, how many people can come in the store to keep you track. And there's little signs for your safety around everywhere. We've got uh, Monsters area here, Monsters products. Um, it doesn't seem to be very crowded because they're, you know, keeping people, telling people to stay away from each other and all that. So, um, oh, those are cute. Little Maleficent wings. I don't know if we saw those before. Those are kind of nice. I don't know how much they are. I don't want to pick anything up. Just because. So we've got two dolls, other merchandise. Lots of Porgs and Ewoks. Um, I have to see if there's a new Tigger, because if there's a new Tigger, then I have to buy it. Because Mrs. Tech Show is very much anything Tigger. Unless they instantly purchase. That's an insta-buy for that. So, um, yes, as we move around the store. Um, a lot of graduate stuff here, so that's kind of nice here. Buying something for a graduating child. Um, so let's see, uh, we do have the plethora, like a whole stack of these things, these, the baby Yoda's, the child, as it were, they're 25 bucks. Um, that's a pretty good, good thing. Uh, we do have uh, some Groots, some kind of plushy Groots, which are cool. Uh, I am Groot hat, which is $28. Hats are, have gone up definitely in price. So, um, so you can do, those, are, those are pretty cute. Um, I don't know if they're worth $25. Um, I don't know if they're going to honor my annual pass since it's semi-expired. We haven't had any, any update. We do have the full line of masks here. Um, Four masks for twenty dollars. So they've got uh, Goofy mask, uh, Yoda mask, their baby Yoda mask, the Hulk mask. We do have a set of them coming that should be here Monday. So um, let's see. They don't have the Marvel ones that we, we ordered. Um, all they have is the uh, most of the general Mickey, Mickey mini stuff. There's some one Star Wars one. Um, they do have mediums and larges, um, so there you go. You can buy a mask. Um, if you didn't bring one, then you're kind of screwed because you need. You know, there's well, now there's some um, marble one, one or two marble ones. One that we we're talking to getting. What I haven't seen yet is uh, 65th anniversary stuff. So that's supposed to be in the store somewhere. Uh, got a lot of kids' clothes. Let's see. Um, continue on here. There's another rack of masks for 20 bucks. Um, okay, we're gonna move around the other end of the store. Hang on. Okay, we've got a lot of uh, 65th merchandise here. Um, T-shirts, sweatshirts. Uh, there's a lot of uh, shirts and stuff, hats. There's uh, picture frames, like this if you want a picture frame. Uh, unless we have some other ears. It's getting a little crowded here, so we're gonna make our way through. Okay, so and we've got some more shirts over here. And there's of course you can't have any kind of thing anniversary or anything for Disney without a 
fancy Disney coffee mug, and other 65th shirts. Uh, that's not really 65th, but so. Uh, uh, and 65th ornaments, 65th magnets, all that kind of stuff. So, lots of 65th stuff if you want to purchase. All prices have been appropriately raised. And as I've seen over and over again, um, like hats used to be 24, now they're 28. So, it's there's a lot of Mulan stuff. There's some old Mulan stuff. This is an old animated Mulan cup and uh, the little ears are pretty cool. The other side is the uh, new Mulan dolls and things like that. So um, without um, the other counterpart to the male counterpart to the movie, I don't know how well it's going to do. Um, so it's kind of, you know, take it or leave it what it is um, that you can't have, you know, a guy showing a, a woman, a girl, anything. I think we do have a Yoda. Another Yoda. And I think that one's animated. Something like that. And then over here, I did see in the front of the store, we have more and more Yoda merchandise. So we have Baby Yoda, the child cups, more the child t-shirts, the child t-shirts, um, everywhere. So they're really trying to glom onto that that thing. It's true that they couldn't have developed any uh, merchandise before the show came out because, you know, that stuff gets leaked and then everybody would know and, and know what was going on at the time. But, you know, it is it is what it is. They're, they were behind the, behind the, you know, eight ball and a little bit behind the time to get the Yoda, baby Yoda child merchandise out. But it's out now and in full swing. And uh, there we go. We do have a lot more stuff in the store. Um, I'm about done in here, so I'll be uh, I'll be heading up to the dress shop because we have to check on what Dooney and Burke bags and stuff are there. They're not really telling anybody to stay away from each other. They're not uh, saying, hey, uh, you need to stay apart. The lines, as you get into the checkout lines, do have you know, the six feet apart uh, little markers. So that's what you get as you check out of the store are the little line markers, as you can see over here, there's the distancing markers right there. So that's about it. They're not really being, you know, very aggressive about it at all. Um, they are limiting how many people can come in the store. They got counters at all the exits and counters coming in. So they're definitely maintaining a certain volume of people in the store. All right. Let's head to our next destination. Hey there, okay, I just made it through the store and um, pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of merchandise. I mean, everybody's some 65th stuff. There's a lot of a lot of uh, the child Baby Yoda stuff um, that's in there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, they are keeping people, um, you know, a certain level of people in the store. This, the line now goes all the way from the entrance which is the i guess you'd call it the west side entrance the entrance furthest away from the park and it goes all the way across the front of the building up the ramp to where you normally board the trams then across all the way the promenade between the parks it's like a gigantic line so um they did say that at some point they may do um, some virtual queuing where you give them your phone number and then they will text you when it's your turn to go into the store. So that may be later on today uh, because the line's pretty long. So it's going to take probably, um, I was in a, you know, I was all the way up the first ramp. So that took me about 20 minutes to get into the store. So the people way at the end right now are probably going to be looking at a 40 minute, 45 minute wait to get into the store. Now the store is maxed out with people. So um, I'm heading off to... Starbucks, I need something to drink. It's pretty warm out here today, so we'll be back. Okay, so still hanging out here in downtown Disney. Um, there are many stores uh, and stuff that open, like Pandora is open, the Sunglass Shop is open, Sephora is open, the Dress Shop is open, uh, the Marceline's Confectionery is open, 
Um, we have the Naples uh, pizza is open, the salt and straw is open, uh, the pretzels is open. So there's quite a few stores right in this area that are open. Uh, of course, the World of Disney store is open, which we've already been through. Um, the one thing, if you're coming down here and you have a lot of food allergies, I would not plan on eating here because if you eat like I do, which is gluten-free and dairy-free, um, you're going to be hard-pressed to find anything because they have pizza, which is gluten and dairy, uh, salt and straw, which is ice cream, which is uh, dairy, and then, you know, the pretzel place is gluten, you know, stuff like that. So I would eat before you come um, if you have a lot of food allergies. I do have iced tea here from uh, Starbucks, so you can get something to drink at least, uh, but that's about it if you've got a lot of food allergies. So where they do inside the shops, inside the uh, restaurants, inside the park, uh, they do definitely cater to people with allergies. And uh, that's how we've met many of the uh, great cast members is because of food allergies. And the chef has to come out and talk to you and, and you know, ask you what you want and different things like that in the restaurants. And, and you get to build a good rapport with some of the uh, cast members. One really sad thing I think about um, the cast members is that you, know, you come here for so long and you get to build a rapport, you get to build a good, you know, good relationship with some of the cast members and you can't do anything with them out, you know, you become basically friends, right? And you can't do anything with them outside of the park. If that, if you do something with them, visit them, see them at some point outside of the park, as friends, they will lose their job at Disney. So that's, you know, that that really kind of, you know, basically sucks because, you know, you meet these people and they're awesome and you want to spend more time with them and you can't. And now that Disney has been closed for so long, um, you know, we're, we're missing them, wanting to talk to them, um, you know, stuff like that. And we do get a text every once in a while, you know, that saying, that they're okay and we can tell them that we're okay and you know that's about it you know, you know with things that are going on so that's the policy i mean i understand the policy a little bit that you don't want people to get preferential treatment when they're in the park but i think the cast member would know you know leave leave it to the cast member <laughs> to be able to know which people are good and which people are bad I mean, we're you know when we're in the park we're all about you know, giving other people magic as much as ourselves, right? That's that's one thing that we know we try to do is, you know, if there's other people that are there that, you know, kids having a bad day, family's having a bad day, I've got a duplicate of a, a pin that I'm collecting or whatever, you know, just go give them the pin. Just say, here, here's a pin, there's something nice for you. You know, have a great day. You know, maybe just will pick your kid up and get them to stop crying or whatever and, and realize that this is a fun place, right? You know, so you do things like that bring extra stickers and, and things like that for kids and stuff just you know you find these you know you would think that if cast members found a person who was like that that it, you know there would be some kind of acceptance to that role no they're not because as always the few you know bad people spoil things for the rest of us but um, anyway back here at downtown disney you know there are lines here and there forming uh, quite a bit like Naples has a good line. The dress shop has a good line. I did pick up. They did have another. You've seen my video about Dooney and Burke. They did have another Dooney and Burke purse um, that uh, Mrs. Tech Show uh, will be getting later on today once I get home. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, the line, like I said, the line for World of Disney is crazy long. I'm surprised they have not switched to the virtual queue yet because it's like all the way across the promenade between the two parks it's like way out there so um, if you're going to go and you want to get into world of disney definitely get here right at the uh, parking open um, it wasn't hard to get in today i guess because it's the third day um, i was probably like eight or ten cars back in the line when they opened the gates to let people in and parking is free and then you just gotta line up wear your mask follow the lines on the ground that show you how far away to stay away from each other. So just kind of simple things. People walking around, no one's, you know, telling people to stay away from each other. Um, there's some people right across from me here 
Uh, they all have their masks off. They're sitting down in some of the center places. They're sitting there and they have their masks off, just kind of hanging out with their family. I mean, I'm gonna, I gotta pull this up a little bit so that I can take a drink because it's pretty warm in downtown busy today. So. Still iced tea. Um, there's caffeine in that, which I usually don't drink caffeine, but I, once in a while, um, it's it's okay. It doesn't kill me. I used to drink like a ton of caffeine. Like I used to drink three, you know, Trenta-sized things of tea a day, and uh, yeah, ended up in the hospital for that. So we don't drink much much caffeine <laughs> anymore. But anyway, so it, it, there's a little bit of a breeze, uh, but it is going to be like in the mid to high 80s today so that's kind of heating things up you know because it's a lot of concrete and stuff out here but um, everything seems to be moving very smoothly nobody's panicked nobody's you know being crazy or doing anything anything nuts it's just a bunch of people enjoying their time at downtown disney um, there's a lot of uh, hand sanitizer stations everywhere supposedly there was a uh, hand washing station. I think that's on the way back uh, towards the parking area, which if I see that, I'll take a picture of that. Um, so, but it's been pretty good. You know, I mean, there's the Disney, World of Disney store is stocked with a lot of merchandise um, and all the cast members are waving and happy. And I think that people are just back to uh, enjoying some, you know, a little bit of magic while they're here. Um, also, so another thing as I was, you know, in the dress shop, one reason I wanted to buy something was if you're, if during this time when the park has been closed and you have an annual pass and you're going to buy something here and your annual pass has expired uh, during the shutdown at Disneyland and you go into the uh, store and you buy something, bring out your annual pass, even though your pass has technically expired, uh, you can still buy things and get your annual pass holder discount. So that that is one good thing that uh, Disney is doing. They are allowing that. I talked to the cast member ahead of time and he said, yeah, no worries. We will fix you up. You will be good to go with your annual pass holder discount. So that's, that's a good thing that Disney is honoring that uh, for their annual pass holders. I know once we get to the park reopening, they're supposed to extend annual passes, what you had uh what the, for the time you missed and they're supposed to potentially i've heard rumors they're going to be adding a month since some of us with the highest pass and supposed to have no blackout dates um are supposed to you know now we're going to come back and we're going to have to reserve days so that doesn't go along with my no blackout days that i was given as a policy from from disney so adding an extra month will be good and we'll be able to get back in the park you know on a rolling basis of a few, you know, reservations and stuff like that. So, all right, well, I'm about done here for the day. I've been here for uh, an hour and a half and kind of wandered through stores and done everything. Definitely get here right away if you're going to come down and do it. And um, there's a lot of food open um, and a lot of stores open. So come on down and have some fun at downtown. All right, thanks. So we've got a hand wash station here, health and safety and everything else. So you can wash your hands um, right there. There's the Asian Street Eats over there that's open. Um, also down here at the very end, as we get here, the um, Earl of Sandwich is open. Um, again, not if you're <laughs> gluten and dairy sensitive, you're not going to do well <laughs> with the gluten and dairy of, of Earl of Sandwich. So, um, and the Asian thing is obviously not going to be good for you either. There is a big Disney wall there, so you can get your picture taken that you were at Disneyland, sort of. So we're heading towards the exit now, and had a great day, had a great time, did some shopping, got some drinks, we're good to go. All right, so that's my trip through downtown Disney and here's the uh, bag that I got for my wife um, new Dunier Burke bag um, has you know Cinderella Sleeping Beauty 
a bunch of different things, Pinocchio, things like that on it. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's kind of a gray, bluish, kind of bluish gray interior and lots of pockets and, and everything else. So and the one thing is that, yes, if you had an annual pass and you were wondering, you know, if since that pass expired uh, during the you know lockdown when Disney has been closed, that uh, if you go there and show them your pass and go to purchase something that yes you will get your discount um, on merchandise so uh, this one since it's downtown Disney um, and Disney property I guess Disney kind of store uh, we get 20% off so I think your mileage may vary on which store you go to some of the other shops may not be 20% they may still be 10% depending on where you go so, um, but downtown Disney's open and uh, it really wasn't bad. There was a lot of, there was a people coming in as I was exiting. I was there from about uh, 10 o'clock until 11.45. So I was able to do a walk around, get to everything. Um, I guess if we would have stopped, if I would have stopped and eaten somewhere, then I might've been there a little bit longer, but I don't, there's nothing really there for me to eat because of my allergies and everything. So that's, or my wife's allergies and my diet that I, mimic of her allergies <laughs> so but anyway if you want to head down there it's pretty good people are being being safe and staying away from each other and and they're only letting a certain number of people in so seems to be facilitating that into all the stores and everything else so there you go downtown disney if you've got any questions about what down what was there what i saw anything else that i missed in any of the video sections from there then just comment and i will respond all right Thanks for watching. Take care.